Welcome back, Prosperity Practitioners. Brandon Hanley, the creator, the founder of the Prosperity Practice. If you have made it to day number 23, this is my notes that I've got here for myself. If you have made it to today, if you've made it to today, you, person of infinite value, are going to receive a check in excess of four hundred nineteen million dollars. This is ahead of where I am currently with my prosperity practice. And I was challenged and I had to stretch to spend a hundred four million dollars. I want to let you know that there's all kinds of ways to to spend that money. I had some specific things that were in mind. And I was I had some specific things in mind, and one of those was a castle. I was always, yeah. as a child, fascinated with castles, and so I said, "You know, Google is your friend with this game." And I'm sure I've shared this with you before. I'll share it with you again. I Googled, how much does a castle cost? Where can I buy a castle? And I ended up on Christie's and Sotheby's. And I spent, I found this gorgeous castle, and you know they're all over the place, these castles. But I found this gorgeous castle on 19 acres in the Netherlands for six million dollars with a boat. It had a moat. I couldn't have been more thrilled. I was like, this is, and it's funny because when you're playing this game. And you get to $100 million, you're like, that's only $6 million. You're like, that's only $6 million. Now you're starting to see and starting to feel what it's like to just just cruise through the idea of a massively uh, abundant mindset. I had to, it was ridiculous, guys. I, I bought so much stuff for $100 million. I, I, I wasn't even trying to be thrifty. I wanted. I found these places and these things that were absolutely amazing. A Twelve. I think it was twelve. It was twelve point nine million dollar ridiculous forty two thousand square foot place in uh, Colorado. Um, a ranch with a twenty foot waterfall and, and ridiculous amounts of acreage in Brazil that had twenty horses cows and all this stuff and you know I don't even know is it her yachts I'm looking forward to the continuation today should be today actually this will be my day today will be a uh, no it'll be um, 208 million that I spend mine on and um, I'm looking forward to it. it's just exciting it's fun it's one it's it's for me this is a moment in my day and I hope that this is working for you in this way. It's a moment in my day where I can really spend some time my imagination let it run wild and what I continue to find is that some of these things aren't nearly as much as I'd led myself to believe. For example, again, I'll go back to, you know, your own personal island can be had for under a hundred thousand dollars. I believe I quoted the one in in Canada. The gentleman who bought a, an island in Canada, I think it was twenty acres, <laughs> pretty empty with some sheep on it. Uh, I, I don't know why they called out the sheep. I thought that was entertaining. And sixty thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars. I love it. I love it. As we know, and, and thank you, I want to thank you for, for making it this far, if you've made it this far, because you're inspiring me to continue. I have to continue. I have to complete this. You are my accountability partner. So thank you for being my accountability partner. I, I can't not do this, and, and that's exciting. Um, and I hope that I'm able to be your accountability partner. This mail program is working for you as an accountability partner. And I've gotten feedback that it has been that for others. And this is bringing consistency, if nothing else, into some people's lives. And I'm thrilled to be able to do that for you. So thank you for this, for this, what we're doing here, this connectedness. And since you've already been participating for 
22 days up until this time now, you are aware of the fact that on the bottom of each of these emails, you can get your own words of encouragement at the bottom of each one of these emails. And I supplement those words of encouragement with these, uh, with a little bit more of an in-depth of, of how this impacts me or just how we can look at this. My frame of reference, and it may give you a frame of reference and hopefully it jars your mind in some way. Here we go. First one is going to be an affirmation. Money and spirituality can coexist in harmony. <laughs> what do you mean? This one took a long time for me to understand. This one took a long time for me to come to terms with. And as I've said repeatedly, it was the book, The Science of Getting Rich, that really helped me to understand this. We live in an abundant universe. And we have a universe or a God. It all depends on how you want to phrase that. But we have a, a spirit. A uh, an inner spark, uh, you know, a, a life that's could be as large as we allow it to be, and sometimes money is required. So you know, money is the currency which allows for that to happen. It's just really the energy that that is translated through what it is that we're doing and bringing through other people's lives. It's not necessarily the thing that we're going out for. And look, don't get me wrong. There are people that focus on money as the only thing. And that's them. We have the opportunity to see money another way where money is helping you to express the fullness of who you are. The fullness of your life. And if you can see money through that lens, if you can see money as strictly currency, as, as strictly the energy that is helping you to accomplish that in your life. If you can see money as, as helping you to spread your message, as helping you to serve others, then you sh can see that money and spirituality can then exist in harmony. And it took, like I said, it took me, it took me until really most recently, probably within the past year and a half for me to see that. And it's also, and, and it is also always a tricky rope. It's a tricky, sticky rope. It's like a spider's web in terms of making sure we don't get too caught up in the money itself. It's what the money can do for us. It's what the money can allow for us in our lives. And then we see that money and spirituality can most certainly coexist in harmony the affirmation again money and spirituality can coexist in harmony say it with feeling <laughs> day number 23 second words of encouragement comes from the legendary Bob Proctor see yourself living in abundance and you will attract it it works every time with every person that's 100% of the times what Bob Proctor is saying here See yourself living in abundance and you will attract it. How can you do that? Are you doing that? This prosperity practice is one way for you to see yourself living in abundance. Just take some time. Make this as real as you can make it. What is that? You don't have to... You know, I, I, I got myself stuck in... This is absurd to uh, have over $100 million. This is absurd to have $200 million. No, it's not. No, it is not. There's people out there who are, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars net worth. Maybe not that much. I don't know offhand. But there are people out there, though. And, and there's no reason why you're not worth and have the capacity and capability of achieving that type of wealth as well. And I had to, I, I, I caught myself putting that limitation on myself. And I said, Brandon, you, 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 
no limitations, man. We live in a limitless, like all abundant, endless abundance. Limitless abundance. You cannot take anything that's not yours. A, without repercussion. But if it's yours, it's meant to be, right? So if it's yours, it's yours. And I always challenge you to work from a creative aspect. What can you create? What can you bring into somebody else's life in order to be fulfilled, in order to be given? You know, so what can you give in order to get? But uh, one way you can do that is to see yourself living in abundance and you will attract it. It works every time with every person, says Mr. Bob Proctor. I hope that this has been fulfilling for you. I hope that you are getting value from this. I have heard, like I said, from uh, quite a number of people that this is bringing them value. And if it's bringing you value, please share it with your friends. Please share it with somebody who you think may enjoy going through it. This isn't, um, you know, it, it's meant to be fun, but it's also meant to be a bit of a challenge where you challenge your imagination to make it as real as you possibly can. Let's say you buy that castle in Denmark or the Netherlands. What's it? What's the rumble sound like when you drive your car across the moat of the bridge? What's the sound of the bridge coming up when you... Is it a, is it a big old chain that you're whirling up yourself? God, I hope so because I cannot see myself putting men at the gates, but I would! I might do it. That would be fun. That would be something I could spend some money on. What's the smell of the moat? How does it feel? Is it is it like you get in there, is it all castle feeling, cold, damp, and shitty? And then you get in and you're like, what I buy a castle for? You're like, oh yeah, because castles are awesome. What does it feel like to be completely immersed in your purchase? It could just be a simple experience. What is that experience like? You know? Uh, get as deep as you can into it with the, with the time that you can. And then you'll see yourself, you'll see, you'll see something. <laughs> I don't know, you'll see something, right? That's very, very vague, right? I think that you'll see something showing up in your life. You'll see bits and pieces pull through. And that'll be exciting for you. And I want to hear about it. Make sure you reach out to me at brandon at prosperity-practice.com. And I look forward to hearing from you.